Coliseum in Oakland, home of the A's. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway and on the mound for Oakland in this one. James Caprillion. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Yandy Diaz leading things off and takes a strike. Swung on, popped up, left side. And makes the grab. One up, one down. The first base is number 55. Luke Rayleigh getting ready to hit. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. First offering misses the mark. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've that seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue Randy, once again early on. Rosarena. One down. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. On the ground left side, six. Sends it across to first. They get the out on Arozarena. That is good. The designated hitter. Isaac Paredes now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. A two-run homer, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Base is empty with two away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Pitch oh, misses ball. inside, ball one. Left hand batter waits. Ball. That misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. Caprillion maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. And now it's Jose Siri in there at the knees for a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. 
Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? They're all partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. That misses. One and two to count. Next pitch downstairs. It's two and two. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. 2-2 two, two now to 22. Low off of first with two away. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Three. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. The Rays with a two run homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay. And on the mound in this one, Zach Eflin. What's the word on him? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. And the 1 0. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And now it's 1 and 2. In the dirt. 1 up, 1 down. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Next up for the A's, number 49. And that's in there for strike one. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. Outside. That one catches the corner for a strike. And the righty deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Oh. And that just misses. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Ramon Laureano stands in now and watches strike one. Ball no, one low. Down. 
The pitch. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing there for the A's. And they're down 2 nothing. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Rays, Taylor Walls. Taylor Walls. Caprillion back to work. They say it went. Owen won. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Got him. Snap throw. Batting it. The and now the catcher for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Bethencourt. That's in there. That's strike one. The wind and the pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Swing and a ball popped up and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Batting up. The second base is Vidal Bruhan. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. Check swing, but it's put in play. Whips it across. That's out number three. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back in Oakland, bottom yeah, half of inning yeah. number two. Now it's the DH, Seth Brown. Brown. And here it comes. And the first That's pitch misses else. for ball one. And yeah, there's a ball. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire. Very consistent with his zone, Chris. Gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog. And I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way. So people around the league really appreciate his oh, consistency. In for a strike, now three and one. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. Oh, and boy. why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Here's a big power threat. Brent Rooker. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Nobody out. Runner at first. At the belt and fires. Two, two, two.
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And it's filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Jonah Bride in the box now, takes strike one. Here comes the 0 1. That one to first. Fired to second. Back to first. Double play. 3 6 3. Nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play. And then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Now it's Chase Peterson. Called strike right there. Runner at third, two away. Next pitch misses, and one and one. And that skips in the dirt. The two on. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own. What a play to end the inning. One left for Oakland. They trail things here. Two nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Yandy Diaz now. Yandy. Diaz measures six feet two inches, 215 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. In there at the knees, strike one. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close oh, behind. Man. Check swing, no appeal. And now it's even one and one. And downstairs. The pitch. There's the strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. 2-2 Two -two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next offering is downstairs. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Showed a lot of fight with two the strikes in that A.B. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Here's a speed threat. Luke Raley. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Swings through that one. 0-1.
Looked like it was a little bit up. Gonna count one and two. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Snap throw to first. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect a pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Now it's Randy Rosarena, runner on the goal. And first offering is fouled off. That misses off the outside edge. Diaz, the base runner at first with one out. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. One and two now. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Paredes batting for the second time and that's strike one that's in there no balls two strikes struck him out without a swing Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. The Rays strand just the one, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here in the East Bay, set for the bottom of the third. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Kevin Smith. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Smith checks his swing. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. The pitch. Off the plate inside, and it's two and one. And now two and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. The Rosarena moving under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting none. The catcher. And now here is Shea Langoliers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Late with the swing there. One ball, one strike. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. One, two now. And that one missing low. High fly ball out into left center field. Siri really on his horse for it. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's two down. The bat. The center field. And now Este Yuri Ruiz. He's all for one. Come on, 
Swing and a base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. So, a man aboard, digging in for Oakland, number 49. First offering ball misses one, no badly time. for ball one. The going, kick and the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get into scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Number 15, Josh Lowe. Caprillion back to work. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0-1. Well, these Rays do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. It's still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His 12th of the season, it's 3-0. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Now at the plate, Jose Siri struck out looking in his first at bat. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The 0 1. And misses inside. inside. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. One ball. And a count Three one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And now the count <laughs> is even. Ah. Goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Taylor Walls. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And another ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Right into the plate. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Beth and Gordon batting with one down, takes a strike. The 0 1. A little out front there as he swings through it.
Next One offering ball. way upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Walls stands at first with one out. Rudder takes off. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Another 1-2. Stays alive. Here's a 1-2. Rudder goes again. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Solo Homer extends the lead for Tampa Bay. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. John Chomby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, number 27. No The right hander back to work. And that's a strike. Oh and one. Base hit center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride right load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man, at first, Loriano comes up to hit. Over to oh, first, he and he's saved. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And it's fouled away. Rudder at first with no outs here. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Good pitch right there, tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Swing and a miss, struck him out, down to first. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement, it's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. So here's Brown at the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Let's go now. Face it here. Fought off foul. Next one misses. One and one. Good oh, eye right there. Runner, runner, the runner. kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And that one lifted in the air center field. Calls it in to away. The left, left fielder, field, number 25. Brent Rooker. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Eflin a move to first, and he just got his hand in there. Kicks and deals. And there's the strike.
Hey. And he pumps it a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. The A's strand one. They trail in this one, three nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, Vidal and here Vidal is Vidal Brujan. Vidal. The why to kick the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Slapped foul. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ball popped up, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. The 0-2. Line drive. And that's down. A base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And now the shortstop, Yandy Diaz. One for two. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And first offering is fouled off. Bruhan aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that one hops the wall. Smith with a relay throw, and he's out. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out at the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Luke Rayleigh next to hit for the Rays. A strikeout and a walk. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And he deals. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he was right up on the plate, so even a small misfire was enough to send him to first. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count one and one. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Here's a one-two. And a ball Two evens the count. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swings and misses, struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. So first and second with two outs. 
And next is the designated hitter, Isaac Paredes. Oh. And that one upstairs. Right hander kicks deals. That's bolted. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty delivers. Pitch nope. misses there. And that's ball three. Josh Lowe would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. In the air out to center, Ruiz gets under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. So the Rays strand a pair, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back in Oakland, now the third baseman, Jonah Brock. The pitch. Foul ball. You know, these athletics just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not Ooh, happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Next offering is foul back. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Just off the inside corner, and it's two and two. Check swing. Got? Now to look down to first. He did not go around. And a 3 2. And he hits a ground ball right side. Bruhan to first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Jace Peterson grounded out his first time. Bunting for a hit. Fires over to first. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. And now, Kevin Smith. Hit weakly on the ground. Rayleigh. That's the third out, inning over. And the A's are gone in order. Still down, 3 nothing. New pitcher now, Shintaro Fujinami. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. And now the right fielder, Josh Lowe. He's already homered in this game. The wind of the pitch. Fujinami measures six feet, six inches, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a splitter, a curve, and occasionally uses a cutter. Chopper right side. Peterson to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The batter, the center fielder, Jose. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think oh, about. A little bit high. Ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Richard Lovelady, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. The wind of the pitch. And now it's even up. One. 
And a swing and a miss there. Line drive. Jumps, but it's off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he's on it first. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball up. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. So up next, Taylor Walls. Throw over to first. Back in safe, really close. Line drive, caught! Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. Here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Bethencourt, 31 years old, and he was born in Panama. And first offering is fouled off. And now the 1. And a foul ball. Siri off of first with two away. Next one just misses. Now 1 and 2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering upstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Now move to first. And he's back in safely. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Boo. So two down, Vidal Brujan next to hit for the Rays. Misses off the plate, and it's 1-0. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Swing and a miss. One and two. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 2-2. Got him. And that is that. No runs, a hit, two left. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Rays three, and the A's nothing. Well, we go bottom six, and now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. Eflin back to work. Check swing went around, going one. Curveball over for a called strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Really nice sequence for the quick strikeout right there. A couple of breaking balls to get ahead, 0-2. Then pump the hard stuff by him for strike three. And I like that he didn't mess around. Sometimes guys, they like to get too cute. They waste a pitch here or there and then find themselves back into a hitter's count. But right there, he had him right where he wanted him and pitched him aggressively to get the strikeout. Digging in, Este Yuri Ruiz. First offering, misses the mark.
They say you win. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. In there. And so now one and two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Caught him looking for the K. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now battle. Two outs, the base is empty. Three. And now it's going to be number 49. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. In there for strike one. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. The next nope, offering the misses. Yeah, the count even one and one. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Well, next offering good. is down low. Foul ball there. Out to short, dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and they come away without an out. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's Ramon Laureano. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And first offering is fouled off. Two quick outs, needed to get that third one, wasn't able to do it. Now you bring up the heart of this order. You got to find a way to get it done right here. After the move to first, and he dives back in safely. And the righty deals. And that's in for a strike. pitch and ball Outside, one ball. well that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat so no runs here on a base hit no errors and one left we're through six full raise three and the A's nothing Back here in the East Bay, top of inning number seven. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Yandy Diaz. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of nope. it. Just missed the inside corner, and that's ball one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Snap throw. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Rayleigh Whoa, at the plate right now. That's ball one. Popped in the air. Left field. He's got it. There's two away. Now batting, the left fielder, Randy. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. 
With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Swings and misses. And, and it's 0 and 1. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Rooker puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here is Seth Brown. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Sean Armstrong is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Kelly getting cranked up as well. The 1 0. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. On the ground. And that chance handled. Whips it to first on the run. And a quick out number one. The left fielder, number 25. Brent Rooker digs in down. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Rip to third and caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you now let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Next up for the A's, Jonah Bride. Ball one and a pitch inside. And that is cut on and missed. And a count one and one. Hot shot to third. Throws across the diamond. And that is the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there. They trail it here, three nothing. A new arm into the game, the righty Austin Pruitt. He last pitched two days ago. Austin Pruitt. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Isaac Paredes. He's already homered here in this one. Here comes a pitch. Outside, Pruitt. He's got some good and some bad. The positive is he doesn't walk very many guys, but Chris, the problem is that he is prone to giving up some homers. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes. Now, a manager can see it pretty early just by the swings that guys are taking, whether they're fouling the ball back, if they're on time, the front foot is down. When you see that, probably don't want to leave him in too long. Next offering is fouled back. And the right hander deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Next offering way off the plate. Bows it back with two strikes. The 3-2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now up for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe.
Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's got a chance. And out of here. He muscles that one out the opposite way. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 5-zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And now the center fielder, Jose Siri. First yes, offering, and it out. just misses. Right-handed reliever. That There's misses the zone. Two. And now 2-0. Two oh. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The 2-0 is in for a strike. They say it went. Two ball, two strike. Now fly ball to right center. Loriano settles under it. Makes the grab one down. The third base is number six. Next to hit, Taylor Walls. First pitch just misses. Just missed. Two balls, no strike. The wind to kick the 2 0. Check ball. swing, and he held up. Three balls, no strike. Here we go, Open. There's the strike, three and one. The pitch. Fouled off, he was late. Still only one out here in the inning. Got it by him for the K. Up next for Tampa Bay. And here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Next pitch oh, off the out. play, and it's one and one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Swing and a miss struck him out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Jace Peterson. Eflin... Still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Kicks and fires. And that one in the air center field. Siri in position. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve no, some bad. bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Smith in the box again, takes a strike. Yeah. 
not one close ball. with that two one. Strikes. It's a ball and two strikes. Coming up on pitch number 100, probably nearing the end of his outing here, Boo. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Digging in for now Oakland, pass. Shea Langoliers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the outside part of the plate. The pitch. In there at the knees. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering is down low. And a count is three and one. Two outs. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Low makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing across here this half. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Rays five and the A's nothing. Ken Waldachuk will take over here. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 64, Ken Waldachuk. Leading off, Vidal Brujan, one for three. Vidal Brujan. And a pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Waldicho, in his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And a pitch is outside, ball one. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. The wind and the pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. That's in there. And it's three and two. Three and two. on and miss struck him out snap throw well, Boog, I'll tell you when he goes to look at the video of that pitch he's going to want to punch himself that slider had hit me written all over it and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front tell you what when you get a pitch like that you cannot miss it those have a chance to go a long way So the batting order turns over and stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. And that's Ooh, outside. That's out. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Richard Lovelady, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. One-one now. That one missing inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. The first base is number 50. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Luke Rayleigh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Just 
just off the inside edge. Two down, nobody on. Now three and oh. Randy or Rosarena waiting for a turn at the plate. Three oh down. And there's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing now some good patience in this field. one. It's the second Randy. time he's taken ball four. Rosarena. Here's the left fielder, Randy or Rosarena. That Go one misses, and that is ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Rayleigh, the runner at first with two gone. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Rips one to right, and that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. It's been a rough one for him so far at the plate, but that'll help. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Paredes tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Two on, two outs. And that one off the outside edge. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Ruiz makes the grab, and that is that. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Ryan Thompson takes over on the mound. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Este Yuri Ruiz now at the plate. Este Yuri Ruiz. The pitch that's in there strike one and he deals bounce back to the mound on to first and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth now bad first baseman Ryan number 49 the next to hit One's in there, 0 oh 1. Bullpen activity starting up now. Robert Stevenson, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up. At the belt and fires. Swings through that. This guy's got oh, such a good right. sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. On the ground to third. Walls throws to first. Now only one out remaining. Now about that. The right fielder. Now it's the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Oh. 
Hard hit, left field, base hit. Now the batter now, Seth Brown. That's in there. That's strike one. Slider misses outside. One, two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. This one smoked out to left. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family. But when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.